Hello, my name's Ashley. I'm one of the founders of Skira, and today I'm going to show you what's new in the latest stable release of Construct 3. First up, I think the biggest new change is that you can now find Construct 3, uh, the beta version, in the Windows Store. Um, so if you open the store and search for Construct 3, you can now find uh, the beta version of uh, Construct 3 in the store. Um, so this lets you install it to Windows uh, and it will run like any other app. Um, you can see it here, um, no address bar, none of the browser UI and it's very similar to the NWJS based desktop build if you've used that before. So this can do things like save files uh, to your computer directly. Whereas the browser can only uh, download a copy, uh, the desktop versions let you save files to disk, like that, so you can see it there. Uh, and another nice thing about this is it automatically associates uh, the .c3p file extension, so now you can just double click files on your computer and they'll open in the desktop version. Uh, this is something we've been trialling for a while, um, still in testing, so let us know how it works for you. If you'd like to find out more about it, we have uh, a thread on our forum here where we've got some of the details about um, system requirements, uh, how to get it, and a few details about the beta test for that. One thing to note is you can't yet purchase Construct 3 from the Windows Store. Uh, we're going to work on that, hopefully, and uh, add that option in future as well. Next up, uh, our focus for this uh, this stable cycle has largely been uh, fixing loads of bugs, so there's not too many uh, major new features. Um, we've done a, we've fixed a ton of bugs. There's uh, should uh, improve the reliability a great deal. Um, we've also done a lot of work on the upcoming C3 runtime, uh, so that should be it's pretty close to done now, I think. So uh, give it a spin if you haven't yet. It's um, if you want to know how to try it out it, you can find the details uh, on our official blog there's a blog post um, somewhere in here uh, here we go this one if you look at here this has instructions on how to uh, enable the c3 runtime and give it a go so it comes down to enabling experimental features and then changing a runtime property um, so it's because it's still not done it's still an experimental feature um, but it's close enough now that we think soon, uh, whenever that is, uh, we'll enable it by default and um, expose it for broader testing. And then ultimately we'll be able to uh, make it the default runtime. Uh, so we're very excited about this. A uh, ton of work has gone into this uh, and we're all, we've also started working on the new debugger. So we're completely rewriting the debugger for the C3 runtime and this will bring new features like hopefully being able to break uh, events anywhere, including in triggers and loops. Uh, so that should um, be an interesting new development. More news on that when it, when it comes. Um, and one extra interesting uh, tech update in the C3 runtime is um, the. Uh, let me just switch to the latest version as of recording. Um, one of the big new features of the C3 runtime is it can now run in a web worker. This is a huge uh, under the hood technology upgrade um, uh, there's uh, another blog um, all about the architectural implications of this but essentially it um, runs the entire runtime in its own uh, web worker off the main thread so that nothing the browser does can impact on the performance of the game uh, and you can now try that in um, Canary, so this is a, a new feature coming in Chrome 69, which isn't out yet. Chrome 68 just came out today, I believe. Uh, and so to try this out, you can enable the use worker setting here, and hopefully everything will just uh, look and work the same. Um, so <laughs> something of an undramatic result, but the uh, this, this is a, a completely different architecture going on behind the scenes, so it's quite a radical change. And you can tell when you're using it, you will see in square brackets here, the term worker will appear. Um, so we're very interested to see uh, if you're trying out the C3 runtime, if you can give that a go as well with Chrome Canary, uh, which is the pre-release version of Chrome, uh, 
and you can see how that works out for you and see how your games run in that mode because it's it's a very uh, different code going on uh, ultimately. Okay, next up, um, let's just switch back to stable version of Chrome. Uh, one extra update is in the animations editor, you can now multi-select animation frames. So uh, previously you could only select one at a time. So you, now you can hold down control, select a bunch of frames and move them at the same time. So that's quite a handy thing to be able to do. Uh, and you can also now copy and paste collision polygons, which is quite handy. Next up, we're uh, very pleased to be able to um, launch the Portuguese um, for Brazil uh, translation of Construct. So this is now enabled by default and you can choose it as, as your language. Or, or if the browser indicates that that's your default language, it should start using it automatically. Um, so now, if you prefer to see Construct in Portuguese, you now can. Um, so we're very pleased about this. We have lots of users in Brazil. Hello, if you're from Brazil. Uh, and all over the world, there are lots of people who speak Portuguese. So um, we hope this makes it easier for you to use Construct. Uh, one extra setting which is worth mentioning is that when you change the language of Construct 3, by default, we translate all the uh, expressions, uh, which comes down to the uh, translate expressions setting here, which is on by default, it's actually off here because I was playing with it earlier. Um, so you can now turn it off and it will show all expressions uh, in English. Um, this, is, uh, this is possibly helpful because for compatibility reasons we have to still have expressions typed in in English, otherwise you get into all sorts of really difficult problems with whether or not projects are compatible if all the expression names change and things like that. So if you disable translate expressions, uh, everything you do with expressions will still be in English. Uh, and you can see that it still shows some translations to help you um, uh, figure out terms if you're not sure what they are. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the default is for that to be on. So if I just turn that on and reload, you'll see uh, so this is this is actually the default, so if you're doing it backwards, uh, you'll see this uh, expression here has been translated uh, and that if you type in the expression uh, by default it's auto-completing based on translated uh, expressions. Um, that's the one for random there. I'm not going to try and say it if you're wondering. <laughs> I don't speak Portuguese myself. Um, so especially if you're uh, bilingual or you already know some English, uh, it's probably more convenient for you to uh, turn off translate expressions. So you can just work with expressions all in English and there's no difference between how they're displayed uh, and how they're, they're written. Um, but we enable that by default just because as you scroll through the event sheet, you can see everything is translated. So we think that makes it uh, easier to understand um, if you're not an English speaker. Uh, our goal here is, is to make it as accessible as possible uh, to people who don't speak any English at all. Uh, so that we think that's the best approach um, for that kind of uh, audience. Um, but the settings there so you can change it if you prefer. Okay, uh, one last thing is in um, Firefox we've now enabled UI animations which is uh, nice to have. So previously there was a bug in Firefox which prevented us from using this uh, and you can see these uh, dialogues are, um, you can see the animation as they fade in and out. Uh, if you'd been using Firefox previously these animations wouldn't have run. Um, the dialogues would have just appeared and disappeared and in settings the uh, enable UI animations was disabled um, and unchecked because of this bug. Um, but this is only fixed in Firefox 63, so I'm currently using Nightly, which is the pre-release version of Firefox, uh, to test that. Um, it will remain disabled and unchecked in Firefox 61 and 62, which are the upcoming versions, but uh, this version should be out later this year, uh, and you'll be able to use, uh, you'll be able to see uh, everything animating nicely. So that's nice to have. Uh, that's all for now. Um, as ever, check the full release notes on construct.net. There's been absolutely tons of changes. I haven't mentioned um, nearly anywhere near all of them here. Uh, tons of bug fixes. Hopefully everything will be working a little bit more smoothly. Uh, and check out the um, 
Construct 3 Windows Store app if you're on the Windows. Uh, give it a spin, let us know how it works for you. Great, thanks.